Uh, hi guys, Adam here from Darts Planet TV and today we are reviewing the Winmore Practice Rings. They're a Simon Whitlock endorsed product. So, let's go and have a look at them. Ringo! Okay, so here we've got the Winmore Practice Rings. Um, endorsed by Simon Whitlock. So on the front we've got a picture of Simon um, and just basically uh, the governs of what it's called etc. But if we flip it over to the back and it tells us what we've got in here. So we've got five rings um, starting at 60 mil and going all the way down to 10 mil and there's two of each ring in there. There's 10 progress charts which I'll show you them in a moment. The instruction leaflet which involves loads of the practice games. So let's open it up and have a look. So the first thing we've got is these practice charts. Um, and the idea behind these is you cut one of these out, put it on the board over the treble 20 or whatever treble you like really, and you can throw at it and then you'll flip it over when you're done and you can write down what you scored, date it, and win more, even say, why not tweet your results to them and um, you can check your progress as you go. It's really just kind of a beginner thing, so we'll crack on with that. Then we've got the instructions, which has all these ideas of different games that you can play with uh, the practice rings. So let's have a look at the rings. So here you've got them all. Uh, you get a set of pins to pin them to the board. And obviously there's the biggest ones right down to the smallest ones. So if Gav was going to be practicing, he'd be using these two here. Um, but we're going to go and set these ones up on the board now. So let's go have a throw. Right then, so I've set up um, two practice rings, uh, one by double top and one by double 18. That's all I'm focusing on at the minute. So anyone who knows me knows I can't hit a double. So all I'm trying to do is get three darts within that ring, or one in, that's rubbish. Um, and we just want to get the three, three darts inside that ring and we're kind of, in a way, practicing the double without really thinking about it because we're finding our range. And that's one again, hence why I can't win a game of darts at the minute. So I'll have three at double 18. Yeah, see, that's better. Perhaps that's my new favorite double. No, back to hating it. Okay, now the rings do move about a bit. One thing I would like to have seen was another hole on them, perhaps so they actually don't move quite so much. Um, but apart from that, they're quite handy little rings really, a bit of fun. So, okay, we've got one here on the bullseye. I've got nine darts here. So I'm gonna throw nine darts at this middle one. And I'm gonna see, oh, I've missed it, that's terrible. And I'm going to see how many, what I score on the ball at 25 when I throw the nine. And we'll come over here. So this is a little challenge for you guys at Darts Planet TV. Get yourself a set of practice rings, put one of these up on a bullseye, throw nine darts. So we'll take this one away. We'll take all the ones away that aren't in the 25 or the ball. Then we'll see what we scored. So I've hit two balls eyes and a 25. Beat that, guys. So in summary for the windmill practice rings, they're 5 95 online, guys, and there's so many options you can do with them. We just did a tiny little thing there, but there's some really good ideas in here. So for 5 95 it's a no-brainer to me. Stick them in your shopping basket next time you're ordering some flights and stems and stuff, all right? So, good review on those, and next week we're going to be doing the quantum darts. So, um, one quick little thing guys, Gav's currently working on a darts review uh, website that's going to be coming, so keep an eye out for that, it's going to change everything guys, that when you're buying your darts. Um, and lastly, don't forget to subscribe, um, and Gav, I forgot again what the other bit was. Turn the notifications on. And turn your notifications on. Bye.